Hello YouTube and oh my goodness let me tell you I just about had a heart attack yeah. welcome by the way <laughs> oh my goodness let me tell you so I did an emerge last night synchronization it upgraded GCC did a whole bunch of other stuff Took about seven hours of compiling. Everything looked good, but today was a day from you know where for work, and I just now got time to come and play with the laptop this evening. And I wanted to do a tidbits video about something else, and I noticed GUBC isn't working right. That's this little camera down here. So I go to re up here. Well, you know, there's some packages that I did set a depth clean. Always be very careful when you do depth cleans. You know, they can erase some important stuff that you shouldn't have erased. That's, I think, another topic that I talked about a long time ago. But either way, I did this and I went to emerge the GUVC viewer again or view, and it started and it crashed. And it said to me in the log, C compiler cannot create executables. Crud. What? Mm. Ooh. Okay, well, maybe for some reason GCC isn't working right. Let's try recompiling GCC. Goes through, starts up. C compiler cannot create executables and crashes. GCC is the heart of Portage. It's what builds all your packages. What am I going to do? Oh, oh, don't, don't, don't fret, don't fret, us, don't, don't fret, us. Reboot. You probably just need to reboot. It probably needs to point to the profile. Something's not right. It's it all got up to you. Reboot. Reboot. Get to the command line interface. All right, let's try this again. Emerge GUVC view. Crash. Oh man. It's still broken. Well, if this has happened to you, do not fret. I have found the solution, and it is actually quite simple. One of the things that a web page told me was to go ahead and create a simple C program and compile it. Now, when I compiled it, or attempted to compile it with GCC, it actually came back and said that the GCC profile is invalid. Well, that's new. That's different. So it told me to look at GCC config. So I typed in GCC config, ran it, and of course it gives some information here. All right, list profiles. So we do GCC config. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Enlarge my font. Control plus plus. There we go. A little bit better. So I did a dash L. Now the difference here is that it gave me an error and said current profile is no longer valid. And then there was this. So to fix that, you have to do as root. So I do sudo gcc dash config choose one hit enter and it redoes its thing I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it you can see it's there and it fixed it then I did um, a slash etc slash profile I believe I had a dot before that it, it actually recommended doing that after I did that I merged GUVC view Oh, to my heart's content, let me tell you, it worked. <sighs> my heart did skip a beat. If GCC doesn't work, you can be up a creek without a paddle. But, plan B was in my mind, and I was thinking about that. The other option, if something like that happens, you could boot to the USB minimal boot CD image I put it on a USB stick 
mount your root and do everything like you were planning on installing Gen 2 after you mount everything, get everything running, you should then be able to recompile GCC or recompile any other packages that could have been broken. I am very thankful that this is all it was and I want to share this Gen 2 tidbit knowledge with all of you guys just in case this happens to you because believe me there is nothing worse when you're working with Gen 2 you go to compile something and all of a sudden oh, you can't compile anything it can be scary so take a deep breath the next time something weird happens go to YouTube look up Doss Gregor and Gen 2 videos and see if I haven't run into it already and hopefully it'll help you out. <laughs> Share that knowledge and and uh, all that good stuff. <laughs> well, if it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody out there. And we'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.